I'm truly honored to stand before the body today and tell you a moving story about the 26th Assembly District hometown hero, Mr. Lloyd Termot, and his trailer ministry. I first want to welcome Lloyd's family, his daughters, Brenda, Pam, and Deb are here along with their husbands. And also welcome Emma, Braden, Owen, Brady, and Lindy. And there's other grandkids that are at home, but you all should be very proud of your grandpa. Lloyd is truly a hometown hero, but the story is also about the generosity and giving spirit of the people of Sheboygan County. Lloyd is the heart of the trailer ministry and other mission work, but many individuals in the communities throughout Sheboygan County help with their time and resources to support this good work. There's, there are over 15 churches of various denominations and several businesses in the district that are involved. I personally want to thank the residents from Cedar Grove, Cascade, Oostburg, Sheboygan, Sheboygan Falls, Random Lake, Plymouth, Ingham, Howard's Grove for their contributions to help those in need. I'm sure this may not be a complete list, and I probably missed a few also. Finally, I want to thank the group in the gallery from the Cedar Grove community that are here to support Lloyd and help us celebrate today. I think they, this may be the largest group we've ever had for a hometown hero, and it speaks to the spirit of the community. So thank you. <laughs> but, Lloyd, Lloyd is a good Dutchman. A lifelong resident of Cedar Grove, he grew up on a farm, was a carpenter by trade. He helped build his first house on his father's land. Through his faith, Lloyd was called into service and has dedicated his life to helping those most in need. Over 40 years ago, he began his mission work by driving to the Milwaukee inner city with mattresses and propping them up against a tree and watched neighbors immediately take them away. Witnessing the great needs, Lloyd's work grew, and he began collecting beds and dressers, kitchen tables, chairs, couches, other items donated by individuals from Sheboygan County, and then delivering those to families throughout Milwaukee without hesitation. Lloyd's work has become known as the Trailer Ministry, and is sponsored by the First Reformed Church of Cedar Grove. Lloyd has a group of dedicated volunteers who happen to be a group of retired guys in age 65 to 84 that pick up donations with a 14-foot cargo trailer and make furniture deliveries several times a week. Lloyd's been diligently making these trips to Milwaukee every week consistently for decades. But the way he moves heavy furniture, you'd never guess that Lloyd is 80 years old. Lloyd's note paper and clipboard serve as his organization system to help plan and coordinate his deliveries. Lloyd's wor Lloyd works with several social service organizations, but most find out about Lloyd's kindness through word of mouth. I witnessed firsthand recently when Representative Goyke and I had the opportunity to assist Lloyd's group in Milwaukee. I'd known Lloyd for decades, and I knew of his good work. However, to personally see him and other volunteers in action was remarkable and inspiring. The special part about Lloyd is that he spends hours every day speaking to people who really need assistance. He's willing to listen, identify their needs, and help them in any way that he can. After delivering furniture into their homes, Lloyd makes one last delivery to each family, a Bible. Sharing the Word of God with others and taking a moment to pray and offer hope. I'd like to thank him and all the generous people throughout Sheboygan County who are part of doing this good work. Lloyd does not need or want recognition for his amazing deeds. However, this humble man 
has quietly, steadfastly served others throughout his life. His actions and his example is a story worth telling. Today I'm honored to award Mr. Lloyd Termott as our hometown hero, and I hope his generosity, his devotion, and his care for others will be an inspiration to us all. Congratulations, Lloyd. I don't know what more to say. I am so humbled at this presentation. In life, people can deceive people. And this is one of those cases where you are being deceived. <laughs> I have got a number of people that I'm going to recognize that make this mission work. All I do is make a few phone calls and drive the church's truck, and we come to Milwaukee three times a week. These are a number of people, and a lot of these are here with me today, which I'm totally excited about the support that they give me. Brian Gesh, Dan Tooney, Dave Watry. He's not here. He's in New Zealand. Uh, Larry Heinen, John Tempest, Mark Holtman, Doug Herzog, Don DeMaster, Grant Bartell, Mike Debianic, Ron Hines, Dave Thal, Clint Wentz, he's a snowbird in Florida, Dale Tooney, Jerry Bowling, and Lowell Coppers. Lowell Coppers, I'm thinking next month, is going to be 88 years old. And he will come at the drop of a hat when I ask him to come. Lowell, Lowell. He's up there. Stand up. <laughs> These guys get all the praise, like I said before. We would not have a mission without them. I've been doing this for 40 years, as Terry just said. Um, we just started putting mattresses by a tree and by the curb, and within a day, they were all gone. Uh, it has expanded a number of years ago, Pastor Kent that gave the opening prayer. He said, can we expand this ministry? I said, sure. So one morning, him and I went to the businesses around Sheboygan County, um, Bitter Newman, uh, Bueller Furniture in Sheboygan Falls, Walk Furniture in Random Lake, Clearbout Furniture in Cedar Grove, and might have missed one or two. But anyway, they agreed that they would give us their trade-ins. And from there, this mission has grown. A lot of people also give us their goods. If they get a new sofa or a new chair, kitchen set, they let us pick up their old one to take to Milwaukee, which I think is a great mission. And this is all done by word of mouth. Uh, we don't do any advertising. It's just word of mouth that people talk about us and, and the mission we're doing. We could not operate this without a number of generous gifts that people have given to us. Last summer, the axle went out on one of our trailers. My nephews that work on our trailer, uh, his son knew of somebody that would make us a new axle. He turned the new axle he gave me the bill, $975. On the bottom, paid in full. I never saw this man. I haven't a clue who he is. This is how this ministry has been blessed. And I could say stories after stories about people stepping forward to help our ministry. Um, in the last six weeks, 11 weeks, been getting two calls a week from ladies in domestic violence situations. It is very bad in Milwaukee. 
The stories they share with me, my heart just goes out to them. I wish I would have more finances that we could help more yet. I often think about winning the lottery, but then, but then somebody told me I got to buy a ticket. <laughs> so, so that's not going to be the way we're going to do it. Um, last year, we had a party offered us an endowment of $100,000, and our church had to match it. So far, we have raised over $65,000 towards that endowment. And I, I just think these gifts like that are just amazing, what people, especially like this party, was not even a member of my church, but willing to help us. A lot of the homes we go into, there is nothing in the house, like these domestic violence. Uh, there might be a blanket in a corner in the bedroom, nothing in the living room, no beds, no dressers. We have been blessed that we can share things to give them a night's rest. When I go to bed at night, I am so thankful to my Heavenly Father. I got a pillow to put my head on. Got a mattress that I can lay down. Got a heated house. The Lord has blessed me so much. And I am ever grateful for him, how he has blessed us. The rewards are sometimes unlimited, and I could go on with stories. The other day we were at a party, and uh, a lady and I think three kids, an African-American gal, I was going to leave, and pretty soon a four-year-old comes running up to me. A big hug. Sorry. It is very rewarding. Very rewarding. And I was telling one of my guys that, and he said, Lloyd, her sister gave me a hug, but she even let me hold her. So, um, um, these kind of stories we hear all the time. One of my guys that go along, I didn't mention him in my first group of men. Been a great inspiration to me, a great inspiration. I know a man, maybe 40 years. He's worked every day in his life. He's got a prosthesis leg. It will not hinder him. A lot of the things we carry, we have to carry it up steps to get to the house. Some of the steps are six, seven steps just to get to the lawn, another five, six steps to get to the house. And the next minute, I see him going around the corner upstairs, bringing furniture to the lady. John Crowstake, could you stand up? He has been my inspiration. <laughs> Last week, we were carrying something out the trailer, and a couple of guys, I mean, it was a sofa. A couple of guys were on the other end, and John and I was on the back end. He was standing here, I was standing there, and he finally he nudged, nudged me over. He said, I'll get it, just get something else. And up the steps he goes. Uh, just a tremendous inspiration. So, um, I mentioned earlier about the churches that support us. Um, I think I got listed here 15 churches from the area that help us. 14 denominations are represented here. It's a community effort, and we all can do this for one cause. In the latter part of Matthew, Jesus says, you give a, I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was hungry, you clothed me. I was, I was naked, and you clothed me. I was hungry, and you fed me. I think there should have been another one in there. 
I was homeless. And I found a house, and you filled it with furniture. That is our goal. And Jesus had said, if you do it unto these, my brother, and you have done it unto me. And maybe this is the reason that I do this. And I got 14, 15 guys that follow me three times a week to Milwaukee. The only compensation they get is we stop for a burger on the way home. <laughs> and maybe a donut on the, in the morning, but anyways. <laughs> Um, I've been blessed with this ministry, and I'm so thankful to my Heavenly Father for the health that he's given me and my chiropractor that I see every six weeks to get the back straightened out. <laughs> Susie, where's Susie? She's back here. A super gal from um, the office. She was telling me, and... He also said about my clipboard. So Sue said, I had to bring my clipboard along. And these are all names. I got three pages, four pages, of people that are looking for furniture. I was thinking last night, Fred Flintstone would really be proud of my bookkeeping system. <laughs> so, anyway, I, I'm, I'm deeply honored for this. This is uh, 40 years ago, bringing that first load of mattresses to Milwaukee. I never thought it would last this long, and I'm sorry I talked long enough. <laughs> <laughs>